So are you also still adding all your leads into your CRM manually? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. And in this video, we are going to understand how to create lead squared lead on cognitive form submission. So here I'm running a digital marketing agency and we use cognitive forms to get the details of our potential clients. So now what I want is that as soon as a new form submission is made in my cognitive forms, automatically with the help of the same lead details, a new lead should be created in my lead squared 2 which is the lead detail should be added into my lead squared crm2 without any manual efforts so in order to do this we are going to create a connection between cognitive forms and lead squared to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli connect it is an amazing automation software so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen Welcome to my screen everyone. So as you know in this video I'll show you how to automatically create lead squared lead whenever someone submits a form in cognitive forms. This integration helps you to capture important details instantly streamlining your lead management and follow up process. So let's get started with a really simple example. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I'm running a digital marketing agency and this is the form we use to collect the details of our potential clients. So let's say that my name is testing you and I'm going to fill in this form right over here. I'm going to enter all of these details and click on submit. And as soon as we going to click on submit, yes, you can see, thank you for filling out the form. So yes, with this, we have successfully filled out the form right over here. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to put my lead squared CRM. And yes, you can see a new lead has been created right over here with the name testing user and the email testing at the rate pablitudes.com. So yes, you can see that we've successfully created a new lead without any manual efforts. So yes, this is the automation we are going to learn in today's tutorial. Tutorial. And if you also want to build this automation for your business, then you have to watch this video till the end. So what we have done is, as I've already mentioned in my introduction, we have simply created a connection between cognitive forms and lead squared with the help of Pabli Connect. And in order to do this, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. And as soon as we're going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you're in the news, I can click on sign up for free and you're going to get hundreds of hours free every month but over here i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in and as soon as we going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications which is cognitive forms and lead squared so i'm just going to click on access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and as soon as we going to click on access now right over here it is going to open my dashboard and to start with this automation we're going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking for the workflow name and the folder i want to save the workflow in so i want to save the workflow in this folder which is automation and i want to name my workflow as how to create lead squared lead on cognitive forms submission cognitive forms to lead squared and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we to click on create it is opening the most important window for automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can finally understand that the actions are response towards the commands given by our trigger and in order to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select it as cognitive forms so i'm just going to search for cognitive forms right over here and as you can see the same so we're going to select it and as i'm going to select the trigger application it is asking me for the trigger event so basically the trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so we're what i want is that as soon as a new form submission is made which is as soon as a new entry is received my workflow should be triggered or started so we're going to select the same and as soon as we're going to select this it is giving me a webbook url so we're going to use this same webbook url in order to create a connection between our cognitive forms and our Pabli connects workflow so what we have to do is first we're going to copy this webbook url and then we're going to follow this help text it is saying log into your cognitive forms account in your form submission setting check on the box next to the post json data to a web 
website so as you're going to follow the same i'm going to open my cognito forms account and as you can see that this is my account and over here are all the forms but over here i want to create this automation only for a single form which is this client service inquiry form so i'm just going to open this form and now after opening this form right from here from the left side of the bar you have to look for post json data to a website so as you can see that this is switched off so i'm just going to switch it on and as soon as we're going to switch it on it is saying submit entry endpoint so what we have to do is we are going to paste the url which we copied from our workflow right over here and after pasting this we have to click on this button which says save and as soon as we're going to click on the save yes you can see saved so yes with this we have successfully created a connection between our cognitive forms account and our public connects workflow but now it is saying waiting for a web response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this web response we have to do a test submission or record and in order to do this test submission what we have to do is i'm going to put my form once again and we're going to access the public link right over here of this form okay so i'm just going to open this form right over here you can see public links we are going to go on this and now we are going to do the test submission with the new details so let's say that for the first name i'm going to keep it as dummy last name as user for the email we are going to keep it as dummy 999 at the rate publicdudes.com you can see the address the phone number and then for the service interested in i'm going to keep it as email marketing and click on submit and as soon as i'm going to click on submit yes you can see thank you for filling out the form so now what has happened is that cognitive forms has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow so i'm just going to open my workflow and check that if pabli has captured the response and yes you can see that pabli has captured the response a you can see all the details which we have entered you can see service interested in you can see the phone number you can see the first name the last name and the another details so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now we're going to move on towards our action step so what we have to do is we have to create a lead squared lead on cognitive form submission right so for the action application we are going to select it as lead squared so i'm just going to search for lead squared right over here and as you can see lead squared so we're going to select it and after selecting the action application for the action event we are going to select it as creator update a lead and click on connect and as soon as we're going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your lead squared account with your public connects workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for these details which is access key secret key and the api host and to get all of these details we are going to follow this help text and it is saying to get your credentials log into your lead squared account visit the settings api and web books api keys show the secret key so what we're going to do is i'm going to just follow this it is saying log into your lead squared account and visit settings okay i'm going to open my lead squared account now we're going to look for settings right over here and to get for these settings we have to go on this profile and then settings and after coming on this settings right from here going to look for api and web books and as you can see the same so we're going to open it and as soon as we're going to open this api and web books you can see that this is my access key and this is my secret key okay so what we're going to do is first we're going to copy this access key right over here and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this access key we are going to move on back towards the lead squared account we're going to click on show secret key and as you can see the secret key so i'm just going to copy this also we're going to paste it right over here in my workflow once again and now for the api host once again i'm going to put my lead squared and over here you can see the api host so once again i'm just going to copy this and paste it right over here and after pasting all of these details we are going to click on save and as soon as we're going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our lead squared account with our public connects workflow and now it is asking for the first name the last name email address phone and many another details so what we're going to do is we're going to enter the same details which you received in the response which is the details of our potential leads right over here okay so that we can enter the same lead details into our lead squared crm so what we're going to do is we're not going to copy paste the details or enter it manually but instead we're going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected cognitive forms as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we're going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so over here i'm going to give you an example that it is asking me for the first name right so let's say that we're going to enter the first name right over here by typing it like this manually then this will not change with every new response received because this is static information but let's say that we're going to map this from the previous response i'm just going to select this first name erase this and look for first name in the previous response and as you can see the first name right over here dummy so let's say that we're going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping 
right over here to run our workflow in real time so we are going to map the last name too i'm going to look for last right over here and as you can see the same so we're going to map it same we are going to do with the email too i'm going to look for email over here and as you can see the emails we're going to map it we're going to move on forward you can see the phone number so i'm just going to look for phone in the previous response and as you can see the same so we're going to map it and after mapping all of these details we are going to move on forward you can see that it is asking me for many another details so all of these details are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank and click on save and send test request and as soon as you're going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response so what we're going to do is i'm going to put my lead squared account and check for the new lead added with the same details okay i'm going to open my lead squared account and after opening this account, we have to go on this leads and then smart views. You can see a new lead created. You can see the lead name dummy user. Also, you can see the same email and the phone number which we entered. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed our workflow. But I'll just test this workflow once. And this time, I'm going to give you a real time example. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open my cognitive forms once again. And we're going to do another test submission with the new details so that we can check our workflow is running in real time or not. So this time for the first name, I'm going to keep it as this over here you can see the last name the email the address the phone and for the service interested in i'm going to keep it as this and click on submit and as soon as i'm going to click on submit now what has happened is that cognitive forms has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow probably captured the response triggered the workflow and further created a new lead which has added the details of our lead into our lead squared account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my lead squared account we're going to go back and check for the new lead added without any manual efforts and yes you can see a new lead has been added it right over here for the name you can say test user the email and the phone number so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and it is running perfectly fine in real time too so now what will happen is that as soon as the new potential client details are received from our cognitive forms automatically the details of that lead would be added into a crm too without any manual efforts so yes we also tested this workflow in real time and it is running perfectly fine so now i can just sit back and relax and this is going to run in backend so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching so not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli Connect, you can integrate many more applications. So if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.